In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, Maddie's working with horses, Corey's working with a mule, we have a change up with employees, Doc is out, and of course, Garrick, you won't want to miss a single minute of Horse Shelter Heroes. Wow, we got a lot of horses last time at the auction. Let's go check them out and see how they're doing. These are our healthier horses that we got from the auction, those that really didn't need that much weight on them. We are still giving them grain. I think we're giving them a scoop of alfalfa and a scoop of senior every day, just to kind of get a little bit more weight on these guys. And these two right here actually used to be cart horses. They were a pair. This one here is almost completely blind. And that's his buddy who's not so blind. So this is Cleo right here. Um, she, she came in with a pretty bad abscess on her foot that Doc cut out the first day, come to realize that she also had an abscess on her other foot that was on the bottom that was like right underneath her frog. So that was the worst one that we missed, but we've been wrapping her up. And she is looking a lot better now, but she is just a sweetheart. So this pen here, it gets a pretty bad rep. But this is actually our vet watch pen right here, and today it's acting as our stud pen. And all of these guys are actually getting gelded today. So this here is our skinny horse pasture. These are horses that need a lot of weight on them. Uh, we give them two scoops of senior, two scoops of alfalfa pellets, and two scoops of super weight gain. I know last month we actually had a horse that gained I think 110 pounds within a month of being on the super weight game. So it is very helpful, especially with these guys. We have an adopter here today, all the way from Indiana. I have a donkey already, a mini donkey. Okay. Louie, 34 inches, five so years old. He needs a brother. Aw. Which one, do they both get along with? I have two horses that come They both get somewhere. along with the and horses. A dog, I have a lab. Yep. Cats. Yeah, I have a dog that hangs out around them. It's okay. That's the lead mini, I'm pretty sure. So oh, okay. And then he comes up, you can scratch his face, but I haven't got to halter him or do anything like that. He was an owner surrender. Oh, okay. Skinny's like, I'm almost warmed up. I know, I love you too, but. But I think you'll have Bluey in your pocket in no time. I hope so. She is going to adopt Bluey. Yay! How Yay. excited are you? If they're both passive boys, then they should. They should do really well. Here's my Oh, yay, okay. Okay. What kind of drew you to Bluey? That's to Bluey? Oh, well, he's the first one to come up and he didn't mind being scratched and a very gentle nature, it seems like, to start. So that gives us a good starting point. He's, uh, my donkey at home is very sweet and very passive, and he was pretty much unhandled, so um, I thought they'd get along well. And how has your experience been here today? Oh my gosh, very welcoming, thank you. She adopted Bluey. He's one of our donkeys that just came out of quarantine. So he's on his way home. Thank you, drive safe. She's really excited to take them on walks. She got a tandem lead rope set so she can walk her property with them. So it's a great home. This is Lady. She was an owner surrender last week and Doc's just gonna do a quick health exam, check her age and that kind of thing see what she needs so we can get her feeling better again. She sounds good. She looks healthy except she's blind. Well, I'm going to give myself an A on this because you're not supposed to theoretically sew up anything below the elbows. And it looks like both of them are healing pretty good. So you're going to give yourself an A plus for that? I'm happy with that. Ligament issues, front, right front, and bucks. Okay. You can see on the x-ray without even looking at the feet on this leg right here, if you get right straight in front of you, you can see where there's a little angle. It's supposed to be straight, but there's a little angle going with that. And we think he's been wrapped. Wraps usually would keep that from swelling some, but if 
we can take him, give him a little bit of rest, maybe it'll help out. Nice looking horse other than, he was stopped up, wasn't he? It was doing better. It was fine this morning. His eyes are clear. We'll give him some fluids and get an x-ray of his chest. He'll jostle you around. He's lighting when I'm supposed to. Nope. Fred Willow is not real active, and I think it may, we may have a heart problem. Let me listen to that little heart. Just not real active, and we wonder, starting to wonder, we probably got a little pneumonia going on. Now I'm pretty sure it's a little pneumonia going on. But what caused it? What keeps causing Willow to get sick? Willow just doesn't have the will to go on, I think. So anyway, we're gonna start him on some different antibiotics and see if we can pull him out of it. So today's been a really busy day. We had Doc out, and then we also had 11 owner surrenders today. And this is Blue, he's one of them. He seems really sweet. You wanna say hi? <laughs> yeah. It's sweet old man. Love some scratches. So this is Ember. She is a year and a half old Tennessee walking horse filly. She came in our May auction. She came with a lot of babies and we've been working on a lot of just getting her desensitized and working with obstacles, picking up her feet. And so far she's doing really well. So I'm gonna show you what we've done with her today. She actually has some friends out here and this is a good distraction, so if she wanted to be distracted by them, that she could be, but she's still listening to me and doing what I want her to do. And we've done the bridge quite a bit, so the next step was doing our teeter-totter, which she pops right up on. Good girl. I think she's gonna be a really easy horse to start. We've actually started ground driving her a little bit, and she did really well the first time I did that. She seems to enjoy it. Once she figures something out, she'll know it for the rest of her life, that kind of type horse. Good girl. It's really nice to get babies like her that are super willing to do anything that you ask of them. She easily figures stuff out with pressure and release. She was very willing just to get right up and on. Started with the stock trailer so that way it was easier for her at first. We even did a little bit of self-loading. Good girl and she's looking for her forever home. And hopefully someone can bring a trailer. If they have a small trailer, we know she'll get right on it just to go home with you. So today we are having uh, lunch in the foyer. Um, it's cold outside. We were planning on having it in the barn, but Jessie is gonna be leaving us. She is gonna be leaving our organization and we're really gonna miss her. She's been such a talented person here at our organization, but we know she's got great things ahead of her. And so we're just gonna have a little dinner with everybody. Uh, we so greatly appreciate Jessie and all of her hard work here at our organization. So we had a lot of adoptions this month. We had 18 horses and 14 cats adopted out, which is awesome. That's a lot of animals. We were able to start out our month with our fall in love adoption event. And we actually had quite a few adopted during that event. And we had some transfers of our horses. And then our cats, we had a lots adopted out during Oktoberfest which we were able to set up a booth, bring our kittens there and our cats, and they were able to find a lot of homes. And then we also had one that um, actually traveled to New Hampshire, and he's living his best life right now. So Jesse actually finally found his forever home this month. It's really awesome because he's been through a lot and he's only 10 months old. And for a horse that's 10 months old to go through so much with sickness and everything, it's awesome for him to find a home. We actually had two donkeys adopted together. We had Jenny and Waylon. Jenny um, needed some foot care and the woman that adopted her is able to give her that care and hopefully she's living her best life right now and Waylon was able to go with her as her friend. And then we had lots of horses transferred to Christian's Farm Rescue and Rehab. And if you remember Kitchy, he was the one with the leg injury. Um, she's still caring for it. It's gonna be a long road of recovery, but he's doing very well. Two that were adopted together, Dennis and Dusty. De uh, Dennis is going to work on being a kid's pony and Dusty's going to be a livestock guardian. They actually had come and adopt Sidon shortly before and they wanted to come back for TG and it's awesome that they did. I've seen, I've seen updates myself and they're doing awesome. So hopefully everyone sees all these horses that were adopted and will want to come and adopt their own horse and be part of our wall. 
We had 14 cat adoptions and we actually had one that was an adoption through one of our employees, which is awesome. She took him home. He's such a lovable boy and hopefully he's gonna grow up with her. We had a rascal, smudge and socket. They all went together. They're all siblings. So it's awesome they were able to stay together. And Nimbus is actually the one that made it up to New Hampshire, which is awesome. They had lost their cat and he looks very similar to what their cat looked like. And they're gonna give him all the care he needs. They had a transporter come down just to transport him up there for them. And I think that's pretty awesome. That's pretty special that they're putting so much into a cat and able wanting to rescue rather than go through a breeder and try to get one. Pumpkin and Gage actually were transferred to Christian's Farm Rescue and Rehab and she loves them. He likes to sit around and do nothing all day and just bathe, sunbathe, where he likes to cuddle and he just likes to cause a chaos all the time. So it's pretty awesome that we're able to get updates on these two. She loves them so, so, so much. Bluey was adopted today, so we're gonna move his picture over out from looking for love to found love this month. So this is my little brother Keaton here. Um, why did I bring you out here? Um, to work with these horses and just strive to strive to do the best I can do for all of them. All right, what's your job title here? I'm the new ranch hand here. And what do you usually do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, in the morning I usually clean stalls and then afternoon I usually feed the horses. And at the end of the day, usually just filling up all the water troughs, you know, sweeping out the barns, doing everything I can to make this ranch look as best it, as it can. So today's first appointment is with a therapy program. They've adopted from us before and one of the horses isn't fitting in. So they're actually bringing him back and possibly one other surrender that isn't fitting their program. And then they're, one of the horses they're looking at today is Nico. So I'm excited for this appointment. We're here surrendering today. This is Walker. He's an 18 year old um, Tennessee Walker and Ace, who has been aged to 25 plus. We do equine assisted learning for kids with special needs. So we really look for a special type of horse. Ace, um, he's, he's got some other medical issues that our vet was concerned about that making him pretty grumpy. So he's pretty much eat up with arthritis and sometimes, you know, with the cold weather and the rain, his uh, mood changes a little bit. So we're here dropping off these two, um, hoping that um, you guys will be able to help them find a, a better place. And we're hoping to find two new ones to take back to our kids. Um, the name of our organization is Healing with Animals. Uh, like I said, we do a lot with special needs, equine therapy, equine assisted learning. Um, so look us up on Facebook. You can just do a search for Healing with Animals. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Right? So this is actually Nico's first time in the arena. So well, hello. We're kind of chilling together. Mm -hmm. She was a surrender. Okay, they wanted, good. she had been a brood mare. mare. They didn't, I think they bought her for the baby. Oh, there it is, yep. Jess, there it is. So, All right. Yeah, I yeah. was surprised she's a walker, but she is. But I would kind of start her slow under saddle. Yes. That's what we've done. Yes. But it's hard to get the consistency. Okay, so right, that's right, right, I understand. that's kind of where she's at. She's but, a laid back type. Okay, but I'm you've sure ridden her under saddle. You've put her Maddie's right ridden her twice, okay. and I rode her bareback, and she was way more relaxed bareback. Yeah, so maybe so, a lighter saddle. Yeah. And he actually spent some time in some sort of therapy, it, some something similar to what we yeah. we do. Now, do you know how long he was in that program? And I think a couple years. Oh wow. Okay. But she took him back because they he lost weight. Yeah. And okay. so she took him back home, and then he came in looking pretty much like this. Yeah, very drafty. You taking him home? Yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. We can't bring home horses just based on Pacific kids, but yeah. Oh, right up. Huh. Yeah, she handles them really well.
Are you going to lick and chew for me? I thought you might think about it. What do you think, Miss Jordan? I think like once you work with the round pen and stuff, like going through that pattern, yeah. and like whenever you put the noodles up and stuff yep, like that, yep, I think yep. once you bring her through that mm -hmm. a couple times, she's yeah. fine. Yeah, we got a lot of groundwork to do with her right. first. So they're going to be taking Maverick and Nico. Yes, ma'am. That is a it's beautiful so book. There you go. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan? And you want me to sign that? <laughs> hey, this right here, this right here is special. This is the first signature that I get to do. This is awesome. I'm gonna leave her a little note. Thank you for being a horse hero. We love you. How's that? Thank you so much. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you. Glad to have you here. Hey, we're gonna be on TV. <laughs> You're gonna be me on TV. That's awesome. <laughs> 10 million suns across the sky won't outshine my love for you. Far in the dark with blinding light won't outshine my love for you. Whoa, oh, oh. So our company lets us do we have a volunteer program where okay. every quarter we pick a uh, a rescue, a foundation, anything that we are passionate about that we can help out and give back to. Uh -huh. And so in addition to that, we also wanted to give you a $100 gift card to Subway so you can wow. buy the whole team lunch. That is um, so sweet. <laughs> yeah. That is so sweet. I'm, I'm so just enamored by everything that you're doing, what Aww. you've created here. I mean, recently just discovered you, but I mean, you've really touched my heart. I love what you are doing for these horses. So yeah, sweet. Thank you. So sweet. Yes. Yeah, no. And all, I mean, we got so much food. It's, it's just fresh. really appreciated. Yeah, so well, thank you. To make so that sweet. I always, it's so sweet when people think about the animals and then there are people that, like the last auction rescue we did, a lady called in and said, I want to buy everyone pizza. It's not easy doing what you guys are doing. No, no it's, it's both on the physical not. and the mental side. So. Yeah. Hi, baby. You would never know you didn't like that. Hi. Hey, Ronald, Yes, I've been um, cyber stalking her on your website. <laughs> if you're gentle with her and aware of your surroundings, she's really sweet. Not a mean bone in her body. She stands for the farrier. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure like, you know, limbs and bushes won't freak her out too much. No, I think as long as you're mindful that she's a horse with her own mind, mm -hmm. she actually gets along with most of the horses. Haven't seen her be too dominant. She's an easy keeper. Do you need a diet? <laughs> yeah. That's her only. A little bit of spooky. She stands for the farrier. She's adopting Bonnie today. Yeah, you know, she doesn't have any uh, illnesses or anything. Okay. Okay. Here is Bonnie's information. This is her microchip information. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. High on your list. Trinity. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, She's been doing really good. Are you helping Hickory? Are you helping him? Oh, Are you being right. his eyes? Every girl needs to get her nails done yep. really early. We understand that issue. You certainly are in the right office here with that oh. nail issue. So we, um, I have two teenagers mm -hmm. and Kenzie and I, are just, we were doing a business together. We want to do healing, mm -hmm. horse healing, and just a little light kind of local kids lessons. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're interested in the pony. It's mm -hmm. like part of just being there and doing some healing sessions. You just have It's healing, yeah. Horses. You coming with us, baby? Do you mind having a few little children on your back occasionally? Nothing, no one too big or heavy, okay? Come on. Not a girl. Not a girl. You're good, huh? Horse crazy. Yeah. I grew up on horses, and Kenzie's, Kenzie's my new best friend because she's also horse crazy, you know. And um, so we kind of with adopters, do. we kind of start with a max of two adoptions. Yeah. yeah. And well, see we how would it goes. want to start for two and oh, see yeah. how it goes. Because training wise, this is going to be a lot of work. Yeah. So I'm not going to take four. To, we don't yeah, no. have a two horse trailer anyway. <laughs> I free lunged her before, okay. and she did and well. No, but look at her. I'm already in love, Kenzie. There's no. But okay. she's being the logic listen, here. Listen, look at her listen, face. Look listen, at that face. Listen. 
She's the, she's my brakes. This is Joy. Like when I come in, like I'll be slow with her. Like when I'm catching her on the pen, I'll be slow. Just cause she wants, like she, cause she's just newly halter broke. You have to be, take your time with her. She's pretty confident with her fronts and the backs. We're just working on touching and just getting them to pick up a little bit and then down. She is 12, so she's a little bit older. Um, I can lunge her and everything so you can watch her move. She's an awesome mover. And like handling her back feet, she hasn't been like a kicky type, just kind of like, I'm unsure of this feeling, it's new. Oh, you're so scared. Did you have a rough time? It just breaks my heart how scared. You had a rough time, didn't you? You coming? Let's go. I mean, she's beautiful. She'd take a lot of work. She's really scared. He moves around with his back feet. He doesn't want to hold him up for a long period of time. So I've been working on that a little bit. I've saddled him in the round pen with nothing on, worked on a little bit of mounting, but not much. It was only one day of it. And it was just enough to just stand up in the stirrups a little bit. Six day a week project. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go. He's, He's a beauty. I like when great. they're built like that. He's kind of like the red horse. Oh, hello. Let's see those teeth. Yes. You're going to have your hands full with us, buddy, because we're not going to let you get away with Yeah. It. So you guys think you want to adopt him for sure? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, pretty set. Sure. So this is Coda. She was surrendered. She came from us. She was an auction in May. Come on, sweetie. How's your foot? How's your She's foot not super lame right now. I like I wrote her yesterday. Just a little bit tender. Come on. She needs her cough like the, she has a little bit of a pot belly right now. But we all need to work out yeah. more. You can see Speaking for myself. It's like Speaking for the two of us. <laughs> we need to work out more. She was born and raised by the same lady. Two that aren't started under saddle is that you have something that with a little bit of knowledge going into it. Yeah. You're God, feisty. You <laughs> Candy <laughs> store. <laughs> What Steve okay. said, I look like a little girl in the candy store this morning when we were coming here. I was like, <laughs> I want was, all the candy. I mean, for, for the past four hours, she's been like yelling. Is that how far of a drive is it for you guys? <laughs> Three and a half. And I've been... <laughs> no, she's... I want her. Oh, yeah. I love her temperament and her um, willingness to, like, look how sweet she is. She's really she's sweet. She's very sweet. But she doesn't have she's much She's listening muscle. to us. Yeah. Very nice. More he's, like that. Yeah, no, just, I know. And I know he's built different than her. But, but see, I, I can see her being, her because of her temperament, I think her one of the kids' horses, More Chloe's personality horse. personality is what yeah. we would like. So they are going to adopt Rudy and Cora. Yay. Yay! Congratulations! And we'll be back next week for more. <laughs> You'll be back next week for more. That's so awesome. We have time to get to know each other. Okay, this is Coda's paperwork. She was returned to us. Her, here are their, Yay. the two that you adopted. Oh. All what right, is in so. here? Snacks? For the car ride home? <laughs> yes, for the horses. That's great. Coda is getting adopted. And we put her up here. Coda found love this month. And Rudy, the spicy little guy, is coming home Coda. So that appointment was a lot. It was a little confusing. We had we showed them a lot of horses that we thought were potential fits. Um, we ended up finding two that were a really good fit for them that they really loved. They're gonna go to an awesome home. They're gonna work with them and put them into their lesson program. And we're ready to see updates. They're actually coming back next week to look at a couple of other horses that they thought were gonna be really good fits that they really like. And we're excited that they're able to take so many horses home with them. This is Sarah and Maddie, and they're gonna help you with Pluto. And uh, if you need me, I'll be in the office. He just doesn't have confidence. Yeah. And just, like I said, gets overwhelmed and nervous and everything super easily. Just kind of the horse that needs one person to bond with rather than a bunch of people. Like I said, just reserved and he's gonna be more of a one person type horse versus <laughs> he needs, he needs multiple a, people. Yeah. yeah, he needs something. If I can break it down to a smaller step, I break it down to as small a step I, as I can with him. Can we interrupt your snack for a second? 
doing? You don't mind nothing. You're just a friend. Lobo. You like Lobo? Yeah. You think you want to adopt you want to adopt him? Yeah. yeah. All right, they're going to adopt Lobo. Uh, Lobo's microchip uh, information here. All right, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Lobo got adopted. I'm so happy that he found his forever home so quickly. He was a very good match for him. They actually adopted a horse from us a couple months ago and he's doing super well. So I'm excited to see the updates that we get from them with Lobo. Okay, so we just got all of our vaccines and everything in. So we're gonna open them up, make sure none of them are broken or anything and make sure we got everything that we need. So in this box, we have some Quest Warmer. Um, we have a cooler in here. So the cooler, all of the vaccines have to stay cold. Like as soon as the stuff gets here, it has to go in the fridge because all of this stuff costs roughly around $4,000. And yes, I said $4,000. So um, this is just for 50 horses. So you can imagine if we get 75 or we get 100 and you know it's going to be $8,000, $10,000. So um, we want to make sure that all of this goes in the fridge. We do have backup just in case the electricity goes out. Um, so we want to just get everything opened up and um, put in the fridge, put where it goes. And we want to thank you guys so much for your donations. Um, this um, helps go help the horses so they don't get sick because they come from the auction with a lot of diseases and stuff. So um, all of these vaccines and everything help with that. This is where all the ice packs come from, okay. All right, in this box, we got gauze uh, squares. We go through a lot of these. So if you guys want to send any of these, feel more than welcome to. I have more B12. Sometimes when the horses come in, um, they just need some B12 just to give them a little more boost. It's been a long time since they've um, had any vaccines or anything, and this just uh, helps keep their blood up, their color up, and gives them some energy, so. We have more five way and then we also um, do a strangles vaccine. So we do the five way and we do strangles. So we got some more of that in. So that is awesome. Oh, you can actually walk in here. <laughs> this is where we keep all of our vaccines is in the fridge. Duncan, you're doing fine. It's okay. Always glad to see where the horses go when they get adopted, get to haul them for people. That was really cool. Went to a really nice place, nice facility there. And so just neat to see where these horses wind up at and who gets them. I don't get to see all the adoptions take place, so that was kind of cool. And then on the way home, we stopped at the Waffle House. Oh yeah, we had some Waffle House. We don't have waffle around here, so you know, it's pretty cool when you get to stop eat Waffle House. Duncan, you're doing fine. It's okay. Yeah, he's got really good feet on him. Gonna get you kind of leveled out here on one side. Looking good, buddy. You're looking good. It's fun to shoe at the horse plus humane. <laughs> you can get your horse shot. You can get your horse fed. And when I leave here, I feel like I'm dead. <laughs> but hey, it's fine. <laughs> My wife says I don't need to sing. But I feel like I got a voice that needs to be heard. So, is that right, Duncan? He likes it. He's standing better. You know, little did I know I was gonna meet somebody from Georgia, sweet Georgia. Boo! See? Whoa. Perfect, she broke. You broke. You joke up baby. Yes, you are. Even babies have to learn to stand on their own. And what I do is I just kind of get my weight off of them. I kind of rock their hip over just a little bit to help them keep their balance. And slowly just ease them out. Nice and easy. Perfect. Good. And then we'll walk back towards the front. If you have a good time, you're in a good mood. The horses sense that too. They know when you're in a bad mood. I can sense that. 
In fact, deer, they can, they can pick up the positive and negative ions off of you. You know, everybody's like, oh, that's, that's malarkey. Well, come in here in a bad mood and see what you get accomplished. I'm just right here. Thank you. It's amazing how these babies learn and pick up so much. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Won't take long to get this horse into music business itself. See? Got that done, no problem. You're next, I think. Somebody has put shoes on you and you slung the rest of them off. Bad, bad, bad. Snip, snip action. I had a guy come out the other day and get some hay. And he said, I've never seen so many cats. I said, yeah, but you didn't see any mice. Who <laughs> let the dog go? Look at you. So this horse is navicular and ring bone? Yeah, that's what Maddie said. Okay. And how long has he been here? We got him uh, two days ago. Okay. Yeah, let's get some x-rays before I do anything because I don't want to change any angles as long as he's walking fine. Good day trimming the babies. Everything went good. All right, where are we going now? Uh, we're going up to quarantine to check one out that has some bad abscessing going on and see what we can do for it. And um, all these are good shape, good to go. So we have one for Doc to check out before we do anything with it and then we'll go further. So stay tuned. Headed to quarantine. Round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. All right, here, precious. Yeah, all right. Boy, he's a pretty rascal. Abscess City. So, as you can tell, look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, wow. See it oozing out? Yeah. Okay. Stand by. Well, he really needs to be laid down so I can really work on him and clean him out and then wrap him up and then he wakes up his feet, both both of them are, are done. Yeah. That would really make a world of difference. But for now, I'm putting some copper tops on him. It's just abscesses. So if he don't, I mean, if there's no rotation or anything going on like that, I don't want to cut anything now that it's draining. We don't want to make him any more tender than he already is. So we do have it draining. We know it was a bad abscess and it's pretty deep. It's, yeah, it looked pretty deep. That's going to take Going a little right under the frog and everything. That's going to take some time to heal. But you're at a good place to heal up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm. So today at Horse Plus was a huge success with the babies. We was in the nursery. Got all the babies trimmed. They done well. Um, got to look at this big rascal. He's got a pretty serious abscess going on in his left front. And hopefully now we have it opened up and draining. And my phone's ringing again. I'll call you right back. Now that we have it draining, we're hoping that uh, after wrapping it up and soaking it this evening, he's on the road to recovery and we can work on this foot as well and start cleaning these bad splits up and I get him back where he needs to be. And closes my donation for this month to the farrier. These neck wraps work well to keep you cool. We live in high heat, high humidity area too. Stay cool. That's awesome. And these are going to be used. I promise you that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. That yeah, look at that. Wow. Look at that. It's got love on the and front. That's a good Bible verse. It's got the cross. Look at that. So we have a letter. Do not read on video. Oh. I won't. Okay. I won't. Sorry, y'all that are watching, can't read it. I respect that. We won't read it, that's fine. Wow, that is beautiful. And that's the Appaloosa Briar horse, isn't mm -hmm. it? But you know, I believe in, in doing things right and, and being honest and doing the best you can and God will honor that. Yeah. And he always honors faithfulness. So, but we love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I, I just can't say it enough, so. It's just overwhelming to me to see the support that people pour into this place. To know that there are really good people out there that are willing to do this and take the time. So, and it's not just me here. It's not about me, it's about everybody. I mean, it takes everybody. You don't see a lot from Sarah. She stays behind the camera. So it takes everybody to do this. And 
You guys just don't know how much we appreciate it. It's, it's overwhelming. This is Corey and Maddie, and this is Sigourney, Justin, yes. and Journey. Journey. So he is 17, he's super beginner friendly. She was the one that evaluated him because he's just so gentle and easygoing, beginner safe. She walked, trotted him in here. Figured he would be a good match for you guys because yeah. he is looking to just kind of like teach this people. Is our, and... This is our rider, Journey yeah. is, yeah. so. Yep, he actually, in quarantine, he gained, I think 109 pounds in 30 days being up there. Yeah. Just or you can walk him around if you want and get to know him and. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've been trail riding with Journey, but it's been a, been a few it's years. It's been a while. He definitely likes attention. Gave Journey the option to either, hey, we can buy a horse or a car at 16 for you, help pay for a car, or we can help pay for a horse now. Nice. And so Journey said horse. And so that's where all the fencing and the stall and the, stall and the tack room supplies came from. So do you think you want to adopt Rowdy? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yay. How exciting! Here's Rowdy's paperwork. I'm so glad that worked out for you. Me too. So this is Rowdy's microchip information. Okay. Thank you very Yay. much. Thank you. Rowdy got adopted. We're so excited that he's going to his new home. He's going to be the perfect horse for this little girl. And he's going to teach her everything that, he, he need, that she needs to know. And he's going to teach her a lot about horse care because he is a rehab project. So that's awesome. So this is Blue here. I've been working with her on and off for the past few weeks. We had someone actually coming out that wanted to adopt her. So I stopped working with her because they wanted an uh, unhandled meal. So I'm just going to keep sending her around here. She's going to want to stop by the gate to try to get out. Just teach you that she doesn't get to have a break by the gate, she gets to have a break away from it. I don't really like using cookies a lot when I train. Because then you get a spoiled animal that just expects cookies every single time you pull it out and do something with it. But for stuff like this, it can go a long way. She doesn't really know what to do with it. She just kind of put it in her mouth. She like, she spit the other way, oh, there she goes. Now she's figuring it out. That was good right there. She didn't need to leave that time. So now this is pretty much an extension of my hand. I'm gonna move it around a little bit, see what she does. Add some weird pressure on there. Pet her with it a little bit on her nose. See if I can get it up by her neck. That's when she might get a little worried. When you see them start to get worried though, you want to take it away. And the next time you go, you just go a little bit farther. Now she might want to leave at any time here. So you don't really want to waste any time when you're trying to do this here. You definitely don't want to have your fingers in any loops. You barely put any pressure on this and they'll start moving. It takes a while to get there, but that's what you end up with. And that's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to get them to move their feet. Once they get to trust you a little bit more, it gets a little bit easier. She's already pretty sensitive to pressure, so I don't have to do much here to back up, just kind of back up into her. Getting everything out of there so they can be faster to get away from that predator. That's how they look at you when you first start working with them. They don't know what your plans are. They don't know what your intentions are. For all they know, you could be trying to eat them. 
but that is how you get a dangerous horse. You got that predator mentality. They got their basic instincts, fight or flight. You're out there going like a predator, they can only fly so much before they have to start fighting. Because what animal, horses, equines, any equine animal really, what they see out of one side, it doesn't transfer to the other side. So they could see something out of this side and be completely okay with it. They see it out of this side for the first time and it's the scariest thing they've ever seen. I'll ask her here. Now she's had the chance to look at me out of both eyes right there. And if you're training these guys, it is better to have a longer lead. If I had a eight foot, 10 foot lead right there, I'm close enough for them to kick me. And just try to touch them all over. And same thing I was saying earlier when I was going to put the halter on, you just go slow. And that's probably good for her today. You don't want to overdo it with them. And they're learning this stuff pretty much for the first time. It's like going to school and you got a test in every single class that day. And by the end of the day, you're just done. By the fourth period, you just want to be done with everything. So you don't even want to apply it anymore. You just want to leave, right? Hey Tanner, um, hey. you got a second? I'd like to talk to you about my rehire interview. Yeah, let me um, let me grab all your paperwork. Uh, do you want to go back and we'll grab Tawny and go over everything? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So you wanted to talk with us? I'm worried. <laughs> Don't be worried. Well, too much. <laughs> um, no, I have decided to go back to college. As you know, I took a break from college to come work here, and it has been the best almost two years and um, yeah, it's a little bittersweet. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I've decided to move on and go back to college. Okay, so you will not be applying to work here next year. Nope. You've decided to go on ahead and finish college. Yep. That's exciting. It is exciting, it's, but it's bittersweet. We're gonna miss you. Because I love of it course. here. Miss you. I almost just started crying. I was like, oh, we're gonna miss you. <laughs> There's gotta be somebody out there that likes vlogging, that likes horses. This could be a dream job for them. Oh, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like without you. So yeah, you need help us find somebody. So you and Tawny and, and Tanner just talked and um, seems like you're gonna be, gonna be leaving the media team. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be really sad. sad. It's gonna be sad. I know I've it's only really been here for a, few minutes, for a few months, but it's been a lot of fun having you be out there and, and working with you and filming. And why don't you describe a little bit for the people watching as we're trying to find somebody and maybe you're watching this and you might like this job opportunity, but tr maybe describe kind of what life is like here for, for in, in your job position. Sure. Someone that would be perfect for this job. Um, definitely if you have a uh, vlogging experience or you've just been in the media industry. Um. So yeah, definitely somebody who has done video and filmmaking for a while. Um, I know before I came here, uh, for the last few years, I've been doing a lot of a lot of video, and I had to do a lot of. Um, you have to do audio, you have to do video, you have to do ed editing. So, kind of somebody like that, almost that has done everything well. It's been it's been so great to um, see how the media department has grown and how much the TV show and um, Horse Shelter Heroes has grown. It's been really, really great to be a part of that. And, and it also doesn't have to be somebody locally here in Tennessee, does it? Or, or why do we Absolutely that? not. No, if you're willing to relocate and come join our team, it would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I relocated from Maryland to come here um, full time outside of the US. We just had our editor move from Guam um, yeah. to work here. Yeah. So it is always an adventure out here at the rescue. And that's one of the main things I love about this job. I absolutely love what I do here. And I have enjoyed this almost two years um, being on the media team and filming um, thoroughly. And so, yeah, a typical day here at the rescue, um, it varies day to day. There is, like I said, it is always an adventure. One of the best parts about this job is you're getting to be right there with the horses. You're getting to see Doc work with the horses and um, also Garrick. I know everybody loves watching him and he is just as hilarious in person as he is on camera. I know you know that as yeah, well. We, we see all kinds of things that, and as we edit the episodes. Oh yeah, so. maybe a little bloopers. We might have to do a little blooper reel sometime for Some y'all too. Yeah. 
So what does a day in the life of your job position and, and what you do here at the rescue, what does that kind of look like? Yeah, so I get here at the rescue at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, all the equipment is, is ready to go. Um, so, but I have what I call the wallaby pouch and I, that's what I keep all my mics and batteries in for the day. Um, also have my audio pack. Um, yes. Yeah, it's pretty so. complex, a lot of the gear that you have and what you film with. And I know something that um, <clears throat> when we're looking for this job position, um, one of the things is finding somebody that is able to kind of be able to do everything in, in some ways. Um, maybe you've had some experience with editing as well. Um, that would be but, fantastic to but have. But mainly ha yeah. has experience with using cameras, um, you know, filming themselves sometimes, filming other people, kind of people skills as well. And then obviously being able, being able to multitask with filming and doing audio all at the same time. Um, it's it's not easy and then you're on your feet pretty much all day you're never like you're not in the office that much are you yeah um, every day is different but majority of the time I am on my feet for yeah, nine you... to 13 hours a day depending on what's going on so yeah and obviously once once auctions happen every month that's gonna be you know a very busy couple days 10 hour long plus days um, getting that old you know filmed and and then in the mornings a lot of times too um, you kind of work with, with Angela there at the front desk and figure out what appointments you have for that day. So you kind of can get an idea of what your day kind of looks like and you can kind of plan out your day, is that right? Yeah, that's one of the most important things of this job is um, planning your day out and making sure uh, you know what's going on. Um, great communication skills is vitally important in any area of this, of this rescue world, but especially in the media department and filming and um, especially when you're out there with the public and and uh, and filming here, even just the employees here. So yeah. that's so, vitally important. Yeah, if you are interested in this job position, um, it's going to be coming available here in January. We want somebody about to be here even before that to about to kind of work with you and you can kind of explain how things work here. Because it's kind of, it's not, it's not the uh, traditional um, kind of filmmaker job in a sense. You're it's kind of more of a, unique. <laughs> yeah, you're more of a YouTuber vlogger in some ways where you're sometimes in front of the camera, um, vlog style or whatever, um, and then working with people, asking them questions, you know, stuff like that on the kind of on the fly. It's very much a lot of run and gun on the fly filming um, in cars on, you know, side by sides. <laughs> yeah, it's always an adventure and you are right there in the middle of the action all the time, all day yeah, long. And it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in this job and you think you have the skills that we're kind of looking for here to be a everything kind of filmmaker, um, definitely go over to our website. That's where the job application will be. Um, it'll also be on, I believe, on our Facebook as well. But hopefully this has been kind of a little insight into this job and, and um, hopefully there's somebody out there, maybe even watching this YouTube video or whatever that um, might be interested in applying for it. So. If you're a filmmaker and have experience in the media industry and want to help horses, we would love for you to come and join our team. Yeah, and be a horse hero. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe um, here on YouTube. Uh, we're almost at 60,000 subscribers, which is awesome. So make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yeah, we'll catch you in next week's episode. Bye guys.